This is the NBC5 News at 4.30. Good afternoon. I'm Bob Sarai. And I'm Marion Brooks. Our top story, the roller coaster ride continues on Wall Street. Stock surged today after lawmakers pledged to pass a bailout plan to rescue the economy. Following yesterday's record losses, the Dow finished up nearly 500 points. The Nasdaq jumped nearly 100 points. The Dow may have bounced back a bit, but the crisis is far from over. Political reporter Marianne Ahern here with the very latest. Marianne. Marianne, members of Congress are now back from Washington, and they say they will be then returning to Capitol on Thursday. Behind the scenes, though, in the Capitol, they're tweaking that bailout bill, looking for more accountability and ways to make it all more accept acceptable to taxpayers who've been screaming, no way. On Capitol Hill, the work continues to find a compromise for the Wall Street bailout. But don't count Chicago Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. on board, not until there's a solution for the mortgage crisis, too. What are we going to do in the fourth quarter to stimulate the economy, to keep people in their homes, to end the foreclosure crisis, so that the first quarter of next year will be a quite different quarter than the fourth quarter of this year? Republican Peter Roskam had to tell President Bush no when asked to support the bailout. You look him in the eye and say, Mr. President, no. It's very simple. The White House chief of staff called me, asked for my vote, and I said, with all due respect, nobody sent me to Washington to uh, put a trillion dollars of obligations on my taxpayers without there being a real substantive conversation about how to improve things. But Republican Congressman Mark Kirk says it was the only way to vote a yes for bailing out Wall Street. I did not uh, cast my vote politically. Uh, I had a large number of people who said they didn't like this. Uh, but my job is to be a leader. And on the campaign trail today, Senator Barack Obama in Nevada both he and John McCain agree on hiking the federal deposit insurance from $100,000 to $250,000 to reassure small business. If, if your neighbor's house is burning, you're not going to spend a whole lot of time saying, well, that guy was always irresponsible. His house could end up affecting your house. I'll do whatever is necessary, um, and I'm pleased to have participated in trying to help this process along. I'll continue to do that, but whether it means coming back to Washington or whatever, I'll do that. This economic crisis is also definitely having an impact on the presidential polls. The latest surveys are giving Senator Obama a five-point lead nationally. And to get the bailout passed, look for a way to bring on board those congressmen facing tough re-election fights in just five weeks from today. Is this holiday helping people out a little bit, giving people a chance to breathe and right. sort of get back to their constituents? Exactly. Et and there are some who stayed in Washington, like Congressman Jackson, as we spoke to by satellite today. Others have returned home to check in who are in tighter races, like Congressman Roscom and Congressman Kirk. And you see two Republicans who voted different ways. Mm -hmm. But uh, they're going to all, they claim, be maybe perhaps a little bit more on board, enough to pass this bill by Friday. All right. Thanks, Marianne.